Hi, and welcome to the JiveTel training video series. My name is John, and I'll be walking you guys through some of the key features and functions for using your new phone. I'm going to assume you're probably using either a Polycom VVX250 or VVX450, but don't worry, the instructions are very similar. Before we begin, let's familiarize ourselves with the obvious features of the phone itself, the screen and the buttons. Buttons Overview The VVX250 is a well-built top-of-the-line mid-level phone, with four buttons on the left side and a color screen. This phone is perfect for the average office user. The VVX450 boasts a larger screen and a total of 12 buttons, six on each side. This phone is perfect for users who need to see who else is on the phone in their company. If 12 buttons is not enough, don't worry, we'll cover the sidecar add-on in a few seconds. Line Keys the line keys are typically on the left side with the park button below them. The paging button is located underneath the screen on one of the soft keys. The line keys have a few uses. First and foremost, they give you a line to be able to make and receive calls. The line keys also allow you to easily see who's calling you because the caller ID appears on each line a call comes in on. Line keys are also used when you want to transfer a call to someone. And finally, you use them when you want to conference in a third person to your call. As for the park and page buttons, we'll get to that later. Sidecar. The sidecar is one of those things that are there to make your life easier. Say you're a receptionist and you're in charge of directing calls to the right people. The sidecar is the tool for you. With a bunch more buttons at your disposal, we can program them in many different ways. You can have additional line keys, park buttons, speed dial buttons, and most importantly, you can program them to see if a particular person or coworker is on the phone or available to take a call. This is referred to as presence. Soft keys. The soft keys are the buttons below the screen. Keep an eye on those, cause those buttons change based on what the phone is doing at the moment. For example, if I place a call or pick up a call, one of those buttons changes to hold allowing me to put that call on hold. The message button. The message button is the button you press when you want to check your voicemail. It's also used to set up or change your voicemail greeting and settings. The headset button. When set up correctly, all you need to do is press the button and you answer the call on your headset without having to lift the handset. Keep in mind, headsets are sold separately. The speaker button. Can't pick up the headset right away or have other people in the room who need to hear what's going on? Press the speaker button for everyone's listening pleasure. The mute button. The button you press when you're on a call and don't want everyone to know you're not listening while you converse with your coworker. The transfer button. The button you press when you want to perform one of the four call transfers. We'll get to those soon. The hold button. An easy and convenient way to put calls on hold without using the soft key that appears on the screen. The volume buttons. When not on a call, these buttons will raise and lower the volume of the ringer. If you are on a call, these buttons will adjust the volume of the handset, headset, or speakerphone. Handling calls. Making a call. Like cell phones, you simply dial the number or extension first, and then press dial. Redial. The easiest way to redial the last number you called is to hit the home button, and then press number 2 on the keypad. Answering a call. Picking up or answering a call is as simple as lifting the handset, pressing the speaker button, or pressing the headset button. Putting a call on hold or park. The difference between hold and park is, when a call is put on hold, the call can only be picked up from the same phone the call was placed on hold. If a call is parked, it can easily be picked up from any phone that has the park buttons on it or even by dialing the special parked extension directly from any phone. On hold. To place a call on hold, you simply press the hold button near the dial pad or the on-screen hold soft key. Pro tip. If while on a call a second call rings your line, call waiting, you can pick up the second call and place the current call on hold in one shot by simply pressing the green answer button. The system is smart enough to know how to put the first call on hold while answering the second call. On park. To park a call, simply press any of the available park buttons. The button will turn red while the call is parked there. To retrieve the call, simply press the appropriate park button on a different phone. It should be the same number you used when you parked the call, and will also be red. Transferring calls. Blind or unattended transfer. 
Attended transfer. Blind transfer using the sidecar. Let's do a blind transfer together. Sarah, are you there? Hi, John. I'm going to transfer you to billing now. Sure. Here's how it works. Hit the transfer button, then press it again for a blind transfer. You'll get a dial tone. Enter the extension and press send to transfer the call. That's it. The phone is now ringing at the right extension. Say you'd like to check with the billing department before transferring Sarah. Check it out. Hit the transfer button. Wait for the dial tone. Enter the extension. And press send. Hi Abe, are you available for a call now? Sure. Thanks. Don't go anywhere Abe. When I hang up, the call will be there. Now all you have to do is hit transfer, or simply hang up and the call is his. If for some reason Abe is not able to take the call at the moment, just hit cancel to continue your conversation with Sarah. Direct to voicemail. To transfer a call directly to someone's voicemail box, bypassing the necessary number of rings, simply press transfer, blind, star 9, then the extension you want to transfer the call to, and then simply hang up. The caller is now leaving a message on the destination voicemail box. Transferring a call to a cell phone. If at any point in a conversation you need to transfer the call to your cell phone, or anyone else's cell phone for that matter, simply hit transfer. Then dial 1 plus the cell phone number and then press send. Pick up the call on the target cell phone and continue your conversation. Three-way call. To include a third person to your existing call, simply press more, conference, dial the third person's number. When the party picks up, press more and then conference. All three people should be on the same call. Voicemail. Initial setup. Once your extension is ready to be used, it is recommended to set up your voicemail box with your name and a greeting. To do that, follow these simple steps. First, dial star 1 and listen to the pretty lady announce how many messages you have, or don't have. Once she's done, she will immediately ask you to please record your name. Don't forget to press pound when you finish recording. Next, you will be prompted to please record your greeting. After confirming the greeting is OK, you're all done. Recording your greeting. If you would like to change and re-record your greeting, start by dialing star 1 and follow the prompts. In this case, it would be option 6. Retrieving voicemail messages. Cool feature alert. Ask about the voicemail to email feature. You can have your voicemail messages emailed to you so you can listen to them directly from your PC or smartphone rather than having to use your phone each time to listen to a message. Even cooler feature alert? JiveScribe. JiveTel's voicemail transcription feature should be active on your extension. This means any voicemail message left for you will be emailed to you and also transcribed. Now you can easily search your inbox for voicemail messages and find them quick. Paging. Paging is when you need to make an announcement using the overhead speakers or directly to the phones themselves. To do this, simply press the pretty little paging button, select the default or recent paging actions, wait a moment for the system to activate, and then make your announcement. That was fun! I hope you found this video enjoyable and educational. If you are watching this on our YouTube channel, please subscribe and click the little bell thingy to be notified when new videos are released. We really appreciate it. We also know that dealing with phone-related issues is not your job, and you shouldn't have to be busy with it. So please, don't hesitate to reach out to us with any questions or issues, and we'll be sure to address them ASAP. We make it easy for you to contact us, so either call, email, or use the online contact us form on our website. Make sure to include a good email and contact number, in case we need to contact you. That's it for now. Thanks again for your business, and we look forward to serving you.